Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Fantasy Cal Radio and our adventures with Arcane Deathbloom. Now, when we left off, we had just went on a bit of a besieging spree, but no longer. That is going to be stopping very, very much now because, well, the mod creator has been, well, working very, very hard indeed. They are actually sick with the flu right now and are still working on the mod. That is some dedication I gotta say just take a break just take a break you know because it's absolutely fantastic what you've done with the mod so far and I think you could definitely use a break with all the patches that you've been releasing and I think all of us are very much appreciative of that and with this particular patch that is currently available on Mountain Blade Nexus, which is linked in the description under the get the update patches here thing, then you can click on that and it will take you right there. But yes, with that patch, it will fix the reinforcement problem and it will also give a couple of changes to necromancers and a couple of changes to spell casting and mages in general and basically just make things a little bit more interesting so here we go 255 against 140 these guys decided to besiege suno and well I'm perfectly happy with this because this will give us a chance to see the reinforcements and it will also give us a chance to see, well, I, I think it will give us a chance to see the reinforcements. I'm not entirely sure where the siege defenses do actually show that kind of thing considering we outnumber them so heavily. But there you go. Oh, no, never mind. Reinforcements have arrived. Yes, reinforcements have arrived. And we have literally demolished the opponent. And by demolished, I actually mean seriously demolished. I'm kind of surprised that they were able to kill any one of us before being absolutely massacred, but all right. I suppose that's how it's going to be. Oh, yes, but there you go. That was, an <laughs> that was hilariously easy. All right. So yes, what we're going to do now is we're probably going to try and tackle them on the fields of battle. Let's do it. Count Tridian. Let us go in here. Hey, there's only two of you. Why am I going in here? Why don't I just automatically resolve it? Ah, oh, well, never mind. My bad. My bad. At least we uh, we still don't get to see the reinforcements. Well, we are going to see the new reinforcement change very, very soon because obviously we're going to go and try and eliminate the Swadians once and for all in this episode because there are only, I think, three more fiefs, I think. Yeah, I, I think that is, yeah, I think that's accurate. I think there are only three more fiefs that they have, and that is, well, that is supreme justice, because let's face it, is it, is it, is it King Harlaus? I think King Harlaus is still the liege of the Swadians, but I haven't seen him anywhere, so I assume he's probably having a feast. I mean, let's be honest, he's probably having a feast. All right, yeah, so unfortunately Suno does not have the greatest garrison at the moment, and I was actually thinking that I would travel back to uh, Dirim and award it to myself, because it's a town, and it might actually make sense for me to have that under my control, because I actually did originally want to say that I should have all of the towns under my command, but uh, yes, I apparently forgot to do that hilariously enough. But uh, yes, anyway, let us go and tackle this fellow as well. Count Devlian. He has 75, so he's not going to be as much of a walkover as his comrade was, but I actually felt like the siege defense was quite amusing because let's face it, I mean, you know, we are severely outnumbering, I think, basically anyone, with the exception of the riders' majocracy, and, well, in terms of mages, and I was going to, you know, honorably mention the dwarves, and maybe the drow as well, because they both have a decent amount of magic defense, and so it is going to make things much, much more difficult, and our shadow wizards are in position, and, oh yes, death and destruction follows. Very nice. I'm going to try and use Ice Storm here. Oh yes, by the way, I believe that, oh nice, it's actually doing some damage now. Yeah, there we go. That's what I like to see. Oh, that's cool. Okay, that actually dealt some pretty decent damage, but... As far as I'm aware, I'm going to need to improve my power throw a little bit because I think that's also contributing to my lack of damage with our throwing skills because 
it does actually improve your your throwing weapon proficiency when you hit with your spells. So it makes sense that, you know, power throw would actually help you out a little bit and it would make sense as well because then it would give you a reason to level up strength with the exception of the encumbrance limit. So that would be pretty good. Uh, and oh yes, it has also been brought to my attention that Quiona is currently moving extremely slowly. So next time she levels up, I'm going to have to level up her strength a little bit because yeah, I I was a bit unaware about that. I thought to myself, oh, she's going to be fine because she's wearing very light armor, but maybe that is not the case. And she is actually going to need a little bit of extra strength to move just that little bit quicker. Anyway, there we are. That was easy enough. I'm just going to send my units to go in there. I don't really mind losing a couple because, again, we are a necromancer. We can very easily resummon a bunch of shadows with little to no cost to ourselves. So that is pretty cool. And there you go. We're done. We are done with those vassals. And now... I think we're done with those vessels. They seem to have a <laughs> they seem to have a banner there, which is rather amusing. All right, so I think we're going to go over to Praven. Amusingly enough, I was actually not going to go over to Praven just yet. I actually thought maybe I would, you know, just take things a little easy and maybe go for some of the castles first. But I think it is kind of necessary because if we eliminate. Praven first, we get a good idea as to what is currently going on with the reinforcement change, and we do take out one of the strongest areas in the Swedian territories. Now bear in mind that we're going to have many, many difficulties with the Riders' Majocracy if we don't get the first volley in, that is, because obviously it's mages against mages technically, and Obviously, we're going to have problems with the dwarves. They're usually a big, big problem. But the cool thing about fighting with a necromancer is that you can change your army composition so dramatically. And by that, I mean we don't have to use shadow wizards. We could be using shadow assassins. Or we could use shadow knights. And they are much more melee based. So magic defense doesn't come into it at all. Which is something that I'm very much looking forward to trying out because at the moment Shadow Wizards are obviously the number one choice to deal with any defenders. So let's see what we're able to do. Yeah, the defenders are coming out. Oh yes, they are. All right, let's do this. All right, how many do I have? I have 46. They have 80. Oh dear. All right, let's do this. Okay, I have Ice Storm. And I'm going to hopefully use it. Ah, oh, that did not work. That did not work at all. There we go. Oh, did you see that? I think I did a lot of damage. I actually caused the game to lag a little bit because of how good I I think I did. I actually don't know. Yes, the, uh, the text box disappeared, which is unfortunate. But I think I killed at least 30 of them. Oh no, oh no, I'm getting, oh, I'm getting some spikes here, but that's okay, I don't mind, because this is, this is a little bit different for the sieges, and I'm very much appreciative of the change, and please don't die, Balrog. If the Balrog dies, we are in severe, severe problems. Let's tell our infantry and cavalry to charge in, let's move our shadow wizards a little bit back here, we do not want them being in melee, that is awful, absolutely terrible, and we have haste, they have given me haste, so I might as well make good use of it if I can. I need to be very careful here though because I don't want haste to run out and then for me to be like, oh yes, let me just stand in the enemies. That sounds like a good plan. Yeah, not really. Alright, so let's see what I can do here. I'd like Ice Storm please, but it seems like I'm running out of... well, I, I don't have magic power because I don't have that much magic affinity, unfortunately, but it seems like the Sally Out is certainly making a big, big difference in how effective the defenders in a siege can be, and that is absolutely fantastic to see. I am thinking I'm going to need to retreat. Yep, I am going to need to retreat. Does it work? Yes, it does. Okay, phew, because uh, the retreat mechanics were not really working beforehand, so this is fantastic. I've got to say that this change makes things much more interesting and you can see here that we killed 446 of them i mean obviously because it seems like king harlaus actually made his way into the garrison itself interesting all right so what are we doing here 
All right, Count Stamar. Oh, wow, we actually almost won that. We literally almost won that. So I think probably going in once more, we should be able to achieve victory. And we have leveled up. So I suppose it's about time I get my 30th point in intelligence. And that kind of makes me wish I should I should really go for some more power throw skill, shouldn't I? But I feel like I should probably go for another point in magic power. But maybe that's too much. Is it? Is it too much? I don't think it's too much. Let's go for another point in that. And let's go for one point in power throw. And there we go. I probably should have done some other things as well. But mm, I kind of feel like I've not really put my points into the best possible specializations and things. So that's a bit unfortunate. What is also unfortunate is that I'm currently low on funds. So I'm unable to fully realize our power because I'm unable to upgrade most of our units. But let's see what we can do here. I actually did not want to summon more shadows before heading in for a second time, because that, that obviously makes arcane very, very weak. And I didn't really want to have that being an additional issue. But you can see that the reinforcement problem has been fixed. And that was very quick. That was extremely quick. Because as far as I'm aware... Well, it's been day to day, basically. It's been day to day, so yeah, I, I basically kind of showed that in the previous video and now it's fixed. So that's that's pretty insane if I do say so myself. Anyway, let's get my magic shield up and running here because I'm a bit worried about being absolutely murdered by anything. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, now we have to be really, really quite worried about a lot of things because the reinforcements are going to come in and they're going to try and eliminate us. So I'm going to try and use fireball here for a second. Maybe I can be a little bit accurate. Oh, that was that was not good. Did you see that? That was really bad. Oh my. Oh well, maybe I can use my vampiric blade to gain some HP back. There we go. Is that a dwarf? Well, it's certainly not a dwarf, but it is a necromancer falling off a, off a wall. I was going to say off a ledge. But yes, it's not really a ledge, is it? I mean, a ledge basically <laughs> kind of has the description of being a little bit smaller than that. But I suppose it, it should just be extremely small because, let's, let's face it, arcane is going to fall off basically anything. I mean, any of my characters basically are. I mean, this, this wall might as well be one inch thick, you know, come on now. Okay, so there you go, that was easy, wasn't it? Yes, that was a lot easier than anticipated, but obviously it's just because we were able to kill so many units in the initial charge. Anyway, there's 20 renown for us, and we now have to deal with them in the streets. Oh, this guy, oh, okay, okay, I'm a bit worried, I'm a bit worried about this, actually. Uh, what was that? <laughs> what what was that? The shadow wizards. Did you did you see that? They literally killed all of those lute Is that their staff? Actually, is that this guy's staff because he's using a staff that is slightly charged as you can see here. I'm actually wondering what that means. Wow, that looks really cool. That does look really cool because it seemed like the shadow wizard hit the Swadian lieutenant with his staff and then it gave him some sort of, I don't know, some kind of like that. Yes, some kind of electric shock. Wow, that is, in my opinion, pretty awesome. And I want one of those myself, if at all possible. So I'm going to have to try and get maybe the Necromancer staff or something like that. I mean, that's obviously going to help in fighting against the Deltas of Empire if they do turn up, because as far as I'm aware, that does turn undead if you hit undead units with it. So that could be very, very useful. I'm actually kind of happy that we're wearing some light armor here as well, because I'm able to dodge pretty well for someone that doesn't have that much athletics. But there you go, a very nice renown boost right there. And now we're able to take as many of them prisoner as we so desire. Maybe we'll actually get King Harlaus. No, apparently King Harlaus managed to escape, which is a bit unfortunate. But we are, we, oh wow, we are able to get another Balrog, which is insane in my opinion. So let's just take all of these hell units. Very nice. There's also a Master Mage 
I don't know whether I can actually take one of those in good conscience because are, do, are they counted as good alignment? I guess they're counted as good alignment, so I'm probably not going to be taking those, but I might take a drow mage or two because they're technically counted as evil, you know, all that sort of thing. So I think I'm probably going to take those. Ah, should I? It doesn't really make sense, does it? It doesn't really make sense for our army at the moment, so I'm probably not going to do that. I'm, I, it was a moment of weakness, you know, because the drow are actually really good. Ah, here we go. Some crude advanced plate armor. Some actually really good advanced plate armor. That is pretty insane. Okay, can we... I guess I just can... <laughs> Quiona is wearing the crude advanced plate armor. She certainly needs much more strength. She certainly does. I'm going to have to do that. I don't know whether she's leveled up there. I'm going to have Proven for myself. Thank you very much. We're not going to plunder it. And uh, yes, there we are. Nice. All right, so let's just move around a little bit. Ah, 46 skeletons. It's not exactly good, is it? Wanted a little bit more than that, but oh well, never mind. Okay, some more Shazo Wizards. Ah, oh, really? Really, look at that. I don't have enough. I certainly don't have enough. But I could technically... Ah, yes. You know what I could do? I'm just going to go into the castle here because surely... Oh, there's a huge amount of ladies here as well because that's obviously where they all were upon us besieging it. And let's talk to the Chamberlain. And I'm actually just going to... Oh, wow. We actually have 23,000. Oh, yeah. That's because of all the ransoms because... Before I started the recording, there was actually two ransoms for about three to four thousand each, and that gave us about six to seven thousand extra, and uh, we actually had about seventeen thousand before that, so that's pretty nice. Anyway, I'm going to get uh, five thousand out, I suppose. I mean, it doesn't really matter how much I take out, I suppose, because it's it's not you know, gaining any interest or anything like that. So nothing really to worry about there. But I would like to obviously save up 60,000 to be able to migrate population so that I can actually start getting those dark mages again. But as far as I'm aware, the dark mage mechanics have been tuned down a little bit. So it's not really necessary for us to go all out on doing that. Oh, yes, there's also a very nice quality of life change. And that is that you're able to interact with the guild master without having visited him previously. And as far as I'm aware, it was literally just a default diplomacy thing going on. And the mod creator has fixed that. So, well, changed it. So you don't have to actually go and see the guild master in the streets. So that's pretty awesome. Because that means, you know, a lot more streamlined, you know... Um, Buying of enterprises, I suppose. And falling off the ledge once again. Because, oh, look at that. I drained one hit points from the enemy. <laughs> Are you serious? Wow. Okay. Well, maybe I just need to um, <laughs> fall off the edge and then kill my enemies that way. Yeah, I don't think that's actually working that way. But, yeah, it was kind of amusing to see that message anyway. There you go. That was easy. Oh, 19 renown? 19 renowned for some something that that simple okay I, i'll take it i don't mind that was very nice and we're able to take him prisoner as well and there's nothing much there all right so we're in a really really good place right now especially considering we do have oh, why do i have some oh yeah i bought some iron here so i suppose i could sell that i'm gonna do a little bit of the regale system off screen as well because i personally feel like that could be quite advantageous. But then I think to myself, hunting, what is it really going to do? If we do some hunting, what's it going to do? It's going to fill our inventory with venison, which is fantastic if you are wanting to improve your morale with a living forces army. We currently do not have a living forces army, so it is basically pointless, in my opinion. Anyway, maybe we want to get a couple more followers. Hello there. My name is Undel and I come from the Great Arid Plains south of the Delphasum Desert. My people are mighty riders and nomads. But unlike those Kurgits, we prefer to either keep ourselves out of foreign affairs or become mercenaries. Oh, he became a mercenary by the looks of things. 
And though I regret what happened to my last group, I need to find some work since I am down to my last copper piece. I am an awesome scout and rider and would love to pay those shadows back for my misfortune. Oh dear. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to kind of be a bit more selective about which companions I take. Because even though it would be fantastic to have a spotter, I don't really think this guy is going to kind of gel with what we have thematically, you know what I mean? So, if, because he has a pretty deep seething hatred, I suppose, for the undead, it is probably not the best idea, and Jeremus is apparently doing some kind of thing with all these glowy bits. Yeah, he's, he's probably healing everyone in the tavern, and everyone's like, oh, we wanted to be drunk, thank you very much. Yes, anyway, I think we're maybe going to get Miraga, because we do need an engineer. So... That might be an idea. Okay, let's let's see. She joins for free, which is even better, but obviously we, we, we do have enough money to be able to, you know, recruit whoever, so that's pretty good. Let's actually just see whether she does have... No, she does not have engineering. Wow, very strange. Okay, well, I guess I could always level engineering up with her, so it's not necessary really for us to need engineering at the moment anyway because most people are not really wanting to attack us in the first place anyway let me go to the garrison real quick and place these skeletons in there well we really don't have many skeletons uh, you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go and use our necromancy skills and i'm gonna create some skeleton archers 40 skeleton archers Yes, that's what we like. Now, that is also a pretty fantastic change that I've seen. And that is the specialized archer spawn thing, specialized skeleton spawn thing. That also scales with your necromancy. So, yeah, the more necromancy you have, the more you're able to summon. Instead of just summoning a base of 10, you're able to summon, as you can see there, 40, which is pretty cool. Anyway. We've taken Praven, and we are... Oh, look at that! Look at that! Now that I have... Actually, that's not making any difference. Why am I suddenly getting... Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. All right, that's the reason. The rents from one of the villages is giving me 3,800? Okay. I will, I will take it. That is very nice indeed. And we are now getting more ransom offers as well, because let's face it, if the Swedians do not of uh, ransoms right now, they're probably even more dead in the water than they currently are. Anyway, they have Teverin Castle, Herringoth Castle, and I believe I just spotted one over here on the right. They have Rindyar Castle as well. Well, that is a bit unfortunate. I was actually hoping that they would have only two left. This is very weird, though. Do you see this village out here? What is that village tied to? I think it's tied to Rindyar Castle, isn't it? Maybe. Maybe it is. Oh, well, never mind. It doesn't really matter anyway. Because, well, the Swadians badly want peace with us. And that will be it for this episode. I'm going to stay here for a little bit and continually summon a bunch of skeletons just to make sure that Praven is a little bit buffered when it comes to the amounts of units that they have in the garrison there. In the next episode, we're probably going to try and eliminate the Swadians once and for all. And, uh, yeah, there you have it. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.